Hello. I wanted to share with you some projects, some cutouts that I did using some new dies and some older dies. Uh, first, I wanted to show you what I picked up from Alina Cuddle a long time ago. And it is these little sequences, but they are like flowers. This one has an iridescent to it. I hope it's coming out. So that one is this one right here. And then the next one is like a pink iridescent. That one you can see it more better. And it comes like that. Then also from Alina Cuddle, I did pick up these, sorry if I'm in the way, these little crystal dots. They look like that. That one is the clear and this one is the pink. And I did use, I think this one, the pink one, in one of the projects that I'm going to show you. So first I want to show you this bag top I did cut out some and I embellished one and I'll show you that that is a bag top and it comes out like this and it does have hearts all over here as you can see so I cut it out using my flourish cardstock and then the next die is an older one also and it's this one. So it's pretty big, this one. And it comes with the beak and the crown right there. And then it comes with the um, little wings, three separate ones. And I'm going to show you how I cut that out also. So here are the little swans. I did use some feathers that I picked up in Hobby Lobby a long time ago. And so that's how I made these two. And I did put some feathers in between the two little arms there. And then this one I just put it on the first one. And I left the other three empty. But this one I, I put it on the first and the second feathers and then the third one I just left it empty so that's how that looks now I'm going to show you some older dies that I made so first let me show you the paper pads I used this one from Echo Park 8x8 and it's the dots and stripes I use that in my my project that I'm going to show you also, I use my Flourish cardstock and I use this Nina cardstock that I picked up a long time ago in Walmart and it's the 30 pound one and it's the metallics. So these are the names that you do get in here. It's four different ones right there. And then I did use this vellum from Paper Tray Ink and that one comes with 12 sheets inside of it. And that item number, if you're looking for it, is 3213 from Paper Tray Ink. As you can see there. And that's the vellum. 8.5 by 11. And it is from Paper Tray Ink. So, let me show you the older dies that I did use. So it's this die from the Stamps of Life, and it's the Tickets to Stamp. And I do have the... The dies with it and the stamp and I'll show you how that looks when you stamp it by itself you can stamp it all together and then you cut it out but I did use the little stamps here and I'll show you how that looks really quick I did use it in some of my projects so that's how that looks so the little words do fit in between the tickets and then the bigger words fits in the middle. So that's one. 
And that's another one. And then that's done. Then these butterflies from Diamond Dies. They are the Monarch Butterfly Die Set, the small ones I used. And I did cut them out. I'm going to show you how they look. And I did use my Nina cardstock for that, the metallic ones. And the um, vellum. So the metallic paper is underneath. So, and then I use my Tim Holtz attacher, tiny attacher there. And that's how that looks. And you could puff them up. But these I think I'm going to gift them in Happy Mail. That's how that looks. And then the next one I did was this diamond dies. And it's the mini envelope die. I only use the envelope. It does have the little card that goes inside of it, but I didn't use that. I just used the envelope. And I'm going to show you what I did with that. So I did cut them out in vellum and that metallic Nina cardstock. So these are the metallic ones. And then this is the vellum ones. And this is another metallic one. And I did embellish it, and this is how I embellished it. So this little flower with the pearl, Alexandra L gifted me that, including this little ribbon here, and that little resin flower. So I did add it to my little envelope here. And this little swirl is from the Coco and Reno monthly kit. This little heart, which you're gonna see around, that I'm gonna use a lot, is from the little heart from this punch right there from Fiskars that I picked up from Tuesday morning a long time ago. And then these flowers are from Spellbinders. And this was in my stash, so happy. And that ticket there was in my stash also. And I think they're from Spellbinders card kit of the month. The next thing I did was that bag topper. This one here. The back topper there. I did embellish it and I used again another Spellbinders flower there. My Maggie Holmes um, die that I picked up with the bow and I did put a jemmy there and the ticket in the back right there from the Stamps of Life. So that's how it looks when you when you bend the back topper. That's how I showed it, and that's how it bends. And it does have little hearts all around it. So that's that one. The next one that I did was these banners. I'm going to show you the, the die that I use. And it's a diamond dies, and it's the Fishtail Banners Nesting Die Set. I believe I used uh, the largest one. Yep, the largest one and then the third largest of here. So I use that if you're interested. So this, I made two large ones to, to give in Happy Mail. And these drawers were from my stash from Webster's pages that they sent me. So I used them. And the pom-poms were, I bought them a long time ago. And then the string I had in my stash, and this is using the flourish paper. So that's how that looks. And I did decorate one, and I decorated this little ones, which I'm going to gift it in Happy Mail also. I think they came out so cute. <laughs> so here's the little one that I decorated. So again, the straws pom-poms, the string, the bow from Maggie Holmes. I put a jemmy there, one of the flowers from Spellbinders, that heart again, and then the tickets from the Stamps of Life and the flower and the pearl. Alexandra L. gifted me that. So that's how that looks. Oh, and also that gem. I believe she gave did me that gem also. And then this one, I used a swan to decorate this one 
and this little circle uh, pleated circle is from Gina Marie designs I'll show you and I used that Aliexpress flower there and there and then the little to drop there and some more spellbind of flowers on that one. So that little circle is from here, the pleated circle Gina Marie. And I will show you how that looks. So this is the one that I used, the third one. And I did cut it out in my using the AliExpress uh, cardstock. So those are that so if you're interested that's that's how I did that one and then the next project I did was these jumbo paper clips that I picked up a long time ago from Tuesday morning I used four of them and I'm ready to gift them so this is how they look let me take them out of here to show you really quick so these wood veneer uh, little cutouts are from my stash and they are from Prima some of them are Prima like these are Prima the one that I used the glasses the coffee cup the coffee pot and the donut are from Prima and these words I don't know where I've got them but I know they're not from Prima I think they are word comp word fatty. I think it's jelly bean soup. Or oh, these are yeah, jelly bean soup. That one is. And I believe I used some more dyes over here. Let me put this down. I used these that were in my stash, and I think they are from Studio Calico. The little flowers that I'm gonna be using in the. Uh, in the little tags there in the flag paper clips so I was showing you this one so these little enamel dots are from One Canoe 2 I picked up from Tuesday morning a long time ago and it's the willow one so I used them all on these paper clips so as you can see and then I use some ribbon that was in my stash so that one is that this one again a little star the cup perfect the enamel dots so some I put it that you could enter it through the left and then two of them I you could enter it through the right so this the little star with enamel dot another enamel dot another enamel dot with the word sweet and then the donut there some ribbon and some paper from Echo Park and then the last one is a teapot with the word enjoy with the enamel dots, a little star or flower there. And this is my Cosmo Cricut up last of the paper pad. So let me know if you liked my projects. I would love to hear your comments down below. As always, thumbs up is appreciated. And as always, please subscribe. I would love to have you. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.